How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel here i've got this beautiful looking device from oneplus which is the oneplus 13 and in this video i'll show you some of the best tips tricks and hidden features related to this powerful smartphone this phone is running the latest oxygen s15 which has a lot of amazing features and customizations I'm going to show you some useful ones that will help you to get the most out of your brand new smartphone. Guys, even though I have the OnePlus 13 in this video, all these tips and tricks will also work on your OnePlus 13R as well. So stay tuned and watch this video until the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1500 likes on this one. With that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. All right, guys. First things first, let me show you a couple of basic settings you need to change before starting to use your phone. Once you power on your device, go to the app drawer. You will notice that we now have this app market available on OnePlus phones. This is the first time that OnePlus has started to add these kind of bloatware on premium devices, and it's something which we usually see on an Oppo or Realme smartphone. This app market might send you unwanted notifications and even show you advertisements on a regular basis. And the worst part is you won't be able to uninstall this application. So what you can do is simply long press, then click on App Info. Here you get the option to completely disable this app on your phone. Once done, you will no longer receive any kind of unwanted notifications or ad from this particular application. Next, if you pinch with your two fingers on the home screen, here you can change the home screen grid from 4x6 to 5x6 so you can add more applications on your home screen for easier access. Similarly, if you go inside home screen mode, then tap on app drawer You can change it from four to five columns and tap on done. Now you will see five apps in a row when you open the app drawer. Next we have something called as icon pull down gesture and when you enable this what it does is when you swipe upward on the left or right side of your screen it will pull down the app icons which are located at the top and without lifting your finger you can continue swiping to an icon and then release it to open that specific app right away. This way you can easily access any app in your app drawer with just one hand. Another setting you should enable is the double tap to wake or lock your screen so you don't have to press the power button every time. You can also change the swipe down on home screen option from shelf to notification drawer and there is an option called show search at the bottom. This will add a search button to quickly search your favorite apps, contacts, files or anything on your screen directly from the home screen. The next thing I will suggest you is simply change the display resolution. Even though the OnePlus 13 has a gorgeous quad HD display it's not enabled by default so simply go into your phone settings select display and brightness scroll all the way down and click on this option called screen resolution it is set to standard but you can go ahead and set it to high for a sharper and higher resolution display this might consumes a bit more battery but who cares this phone comes with a massive 6000 mah capacity then why not use it to its full potential since we are in the display settings if you go inside refresh rate We have this option called app specific refresh rate. This basically allows you to set the refresh rate on different apps individually depending on your requirement. Just make sure that all your frequently used apps are running at the highest 120 Hz refresh rate to get a much smoother and better experience while using your smartphone. Next, let me show you some useful AI features we get on this phone. First things first, this device supports circle to search feature, so you can just long press on the navigation bar to quickly search anything directly from Google. You can circle on an object or image you want to search for and it instantly provides all the information related to that specific object. Similarly when you are reading an article or browsing the web, you can swipe down with your three fingers and not only does it take screenshots, but here you will see this useful option called extract content. When you tap on it, it allows you to extract anything from that particular page. You can copy the text or image and save it inside the file doc which you can later access whenever you want to. This file doc comes in really handy to temporarily store anything on your phone. Guys, if you're using the smart sidebar on your phone, then you get a couple of interesting AI features. So just go into accessibility and convenience, scroll down and make sure the smart sidebar is turned on. Once done, now when reading an article or web pages, simply swipe from the edges and here you get AI summary and AI speak. You can use the AI speak feature to read out the entire content that is present on your screen. So when you don't have enough time to read something on the web, you can use this function. There are options to choose between the male or female audio. You can also increase the speed for your convenience. 
Then we have the AI summary that will summarize the entire web page or content present on the screen. There is an option to copy, share or save the summary directly to your phone. Not only this, when using messaging apps on your phone, you also get this AI writer feature which will help you to check your grammar mistakes. You can compose anything by just typing a few words and it even lets you rewrite in different tones. So you get some useful writing tools that will surely enhance your typing experience. Similarly, we do have some AI features inside the Photos app to help you edit pictures in a much more effective way. Inside an image, when you tap on edit, you get this all new AI editing option and when you click on it, we have got four useful AI tools. The first one is the AI detail boost and this will enhance the quality of that picture and improve the clarity by using AI. Then we have AI eraser which helps you to quickly remove any unwanted objects from that picture. AI unblur will help you improve the clarity of any blurry pictures you have in your gallery. AI reflection eraser will remove the reflections from your pictures. These are all the AI photo editing tools that will help you edit your pictures a lot quicker in a most effective way. With the release of OxygenOS 15, OnePlus has made a lot of changes to the lock screen and added many customization features. If you go into settings, then select wallpaper and style. Here we get this brand new interface with a bunch of beautiful looking themes for your lock screen. We have got classic, sleek, pulse, light and shadow, composition and many more to choose from. Depending on your mode, you can choose whatever you like and then you have the option to change the clock style. Customize the color, adjust the size, you can add blur and some cool effects to the lock screen and there is an option to enable or disable the depth effect as well. You can also use many of these cool looking fonts that are already present here. Honestly you get some beautiful customization features that will surely take your lock screen to the next level. The best part is that if you are using the always on display on your phone then you get this beautiful animation that just looks absolutely stunning. Every time when you unlock your phone you are gonna appreciate this little transition that looks really really good. When I open the quick settings panel, you will notice this black and white accent which is present all across the interface. And even when I go to the settings page, we get this black and white icons that resembles the old OxygenOS design language. In order to get this look, go into wallpaper and style, select colors and here you need to click on this option called two tone. This will give you that old OxygenOS vibe and it looks really good. They have also added a couple of new icon packs with the OxygenOS 15. If you select icons, here you can see two new options. The first one is called Radiance and this pack looks very similar to the default icons but it just adds that slight gradient look which makes the icon pop on your home screen. Then we have something called Shadows which is actually the darker version and basically it adds a dark background to all your app icons. Other than this, you can also apply third party icon pack from the play store without installing any kind of launcher on your phone. With OxygenOS 15, they have also added this new feature called live alerts which is heavily inspired by the dynamic island that is present on iPhones. All you need to do is go to accessibility and convenience and then select live alerts. Here you will see the list of apps that are supported. Now let's say you set a timer on your phone and when you minimize the clock application, it goes straight into the punch hole and converts that into dynamic island. It also works when playing music on Spotify. You can track your order from Zomato and Swiggy as well. The best part is unlike the dynamic island, here you can see applications in an expanded view and you can easily control multiple apps at the same time. This feature works really really well with some buttery smooth animations. Did you know the quickest way to launch your favorite apps and shortcuts is by using the fingerprint scanner. If I touch and hold the fingerprint scanner even after my phone gets unlocked, I get this pop-up menu where I can quickly launch my favorite apps and shortcuts. To activate this feature, go into the phone settings, select accessibility and convenience. Here enable this option called quick launch. You can choose your favorite apps and shortcuts that you want to access using the fingerprint. OnePlus 13 has many useful gestures that can save a lot of your time. To open apps in split screen, you just need to swipe up with your three fingers and now you can easily open multiple apps in a split screen window. Similarly, if I swipe down with my three fingers, it takes the screenshot. You can even control your phone with hand gestures without having to touch the screen. To enable it, go into settings, accessibility and convenience, select gestures and motions. Here you get this option called air gesture. Just go ahead and turn this on. Now when you receive calls, you can simply hold the back of your hand with the fingers pointed down and flick it up to attend the call. There are also some screen off gestures present on this phone that you can assign to do certain tasks when your screen is off. 
For example, if I draw C, it opens the camera instantly without having to unlock my phone. Similarly, when I draw V, it toggles the flashlight. If you want to activate these screen of gestures, again go to gestures and motions, select screen of gestures, and here you can turn on all the additional gestures which can save a lot of your time. This phone has some really good haptics and the best part is you can adjust the haptics depending on your requirements. Simply go to settings, select sounds and vibrations, scroll down and then select haptics. Here not only you can adjust the intensity but you can also change the haptic style depending on your taste. You can easily feel the difference when unlocking your phone, touching and holding app icons, using gestures or when switching apps in the recent menu and in many more places. OnePlus 13 also comes with a built-in app locker, so if you want to lock apps on your phone, then head over to the app section and here you will find this option called app lock. You can set a different password to lock all your applications and then you can choose the apps you want to lock on your phone. You can use your fingerprint or face ID to unlock your apps and it also lets you decide when you want to lock applications on your phone. Let me show you one important setting that will help you to fully charge your OnePlus device a lot faster. Inside the settings, go into battery and then select charging settings. Here you will see this option called smart rapid charging. Since this phone comes with a massive 6000 mAh battery, I will suggest you to turn on this feature and this will charge your OnePlus much quicker. Finally, let me show you some useful camera tricks. When you want to click pictures, you don't have to look for the shutter button. Instead, you can tap anywhere on the screen and it captures instantly. To enable this feature, go to your camera settings, scroll down and then select shooting methods. Simply enable tap to capture and show palm. Now just show your palm to take selfies and tap anywhere to take pictures. Another setting you need to change is the volume button action. If it is set to shutter, simply change it to zoom and now you can zoom in and zoom out using the volume buttons. Guys, you can also turn on this quick launch toggle so you can quickly open the camera by double pressing the side key. You can record up to 8K 60 frames videos on this phone and you get all the manual controls to adjust the ISO, white balance and shutter speed. You can take some high quality pictures and record stunning videos on this smartphone. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some useful tips, tricks and hidden features for your OnePlus 13 and 13R. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.